This is a really vast and open area. You have to admit, the environments remained open despite the fact they raised the graphics cap a bit. As much as the PS3 version sucks, uh, which I'm not playing obviously. But it's kind of funny to hear about their problems. Like the memory issues. Because they got a console port. <laughs> which is ironic. Oh man. The only thing worse than owning a console is owning a PS3. No, I, I joke. I don't give a fuck if you use consoles. Alright, let's go to the Tower of Whatever Mabob. Although, I have this friend who owns a 360, but he's like totally anti PS3 and I don't see the fucking difference. I'm like, yeah, the same, it's like you're using a controller either way. If anything, you, you both should be best friends. And he's like, no, it's different. You just don't understand because you're a filthy PC scrub. I'm like, no! And then, and then we have a, this fi fight to the death and shit. No, I don't know. Alright. Well, uh. Nah, I'm just kidding. We get along. We get along well. He enjoys. He enjoys it when he sees some of the PC. He he can't afford a PC, so he enjoys it actually when uh, he gets to see some of these games like this on the PC because they look very different. And plus the mods, loves loves the mods. He wants to get a PC, but he doesn't have enough money. So he's just a dirty console scrub until until he gets money for that. It's usually the problem, isn't it? But I guess I guess that's what makes uh, PC so great is that entry thing. You require monies. Less kids are likely to be there. Although that's not always the case. But oh dear God, screeching children on Xbox Live. We'll never forget. Burned burned into my soul. Voice chat is the worst thing that ever happened to gaming uh, on uh, on consoles. All right, well this seems like a puzzle I've done before. Okay, I need to do something here. What does this thing say? Recover the Elder Scroll. Well, this is very clearly the way out. I, I'm guessing there's a panel up there that would allow me to do it. Alright, let's see. There you go. Uh, this is a little different. Oh, fucking dog! He's like fucking... Fucking hate. Do you really need to be here? <sighs> Come over here, you retarded fucking dog. I swear to God, I'm going to telekinesis your corpse into a fucking pit of lava. Okay. the puzzle here. Let's take a closer look at this. So there's something pointing this way. Much better than just press a button just just to fuck with me. Okay, I think we want to line all these up uh, at something. So let's go dig around with that. Do anything yet? No. Wait, what? Uh. That was different. Oh, here we go. I have no idea what this means. Oh, neat.
I don't have no idea what I'm doing. Ah. Let's read it and die. That would be awesome. Where's the Elder Scroll? Ah. Oh. I'm blind. Holy shit. Nice job, Elder Scroll. That's way too awesome. Alright, let's go. To the mountain! Ba -da 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 -da. Alright, uh. At the throat of the world. Fustura! Da da da! Alright. <sighs> The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkre, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. This is a time wound? Oh, do yes not it is. delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot. Alright. Oops. Wrong thing. The Elder Scroll. How much is it worth? It's worth. It's weighs 20, but isn't worth anything. The sign. Oh, damn. Gormley, running out of time. The battle. The Arsu fools the Alduin decree. Today, Alduin's lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage, Kree Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. For Skyrim! Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Aldo and himself. Oh, sorry, Birka. They did not have Dragonland. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I no. will not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it.
will not be in terror. You will be Interesting. It's too bad the animations are still bad. Uh oh, did what? Defeat who? Kind of switch to it. What's a dragon rend? Holy shit. Alright. And he gets forced down. Oh shit. Kill him! Go, all my minions! Together! Come back down again. Alright, uh, let's just use, um... Actually, wait, wait until he comes down next time. Wait, what the hell? More dragons? Alright, uh, let's use... Where is it? Fuck. Uh, I, Highborn. And then I'll use Paralysis. Mark for death. Just chilling. Oh no! Wait. What the fuck? <laughs> Who? Who's that? No, Shadow Beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> you bastard. I I want Shadow Beer to live. <laughs> oh fuck. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me let me fast forward. Okay. It looks like my horse is not on him. That's a good sign. I don't even know where my horse is. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Nilivrach Hinmoro. True, this is not the final Krongra. Victory. But, not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. 
Alduin always was Pahlok, arrogant in his power. Uznadar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dover. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Soon, Ark. All right. Talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Uh, okay. Dragon's Rage. Interesting. Uh, I want to kind of know if my horse is okay, so I actually might just uh, stop by uh, stables just to make sure. Because I just realized that this is not going to be a good place for me to realize that. Sure, I'll go to White Watchtower, why not? We can try and convince him briefly. Cool, he's alive, alright. That's... <laughs> How did he get on the fucking dragon in the first place? Da 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 Bethesda games. <laughs> I need to leave, my planet, my planet needs me. Oh fuck. The funniest shit I get on camera. <laughs> I want to ride a dragon. Alright. Well, he's not gonna be happy. This is meant to capture a dragon. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Of course. You already saved White Brunt from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city, when we've been working so hard to keep them out? All do it. The world leader himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? Then, White Run will stand with you, Dragonborn. We will take the risk and gain the glory, whether it be in victory or defeat. So what's the plan then? How do you intend to lure a dragon into the trap? Scooby Snacks, obviously. Oh. Well, I'll leave that to you. I trust you know your business. Probably for the best. It will give me time to see if that old trap still works. And break the news to the men. According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was. 
who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Uh, okay. We'll be ready. Don't worry. You do have a plan for actually luring a dragon into this trap, don't you? Now, if you don't mind. What's the skull? Is that it? Oh shit! I never noticed that. It really is. Sure, did you do I that? need to ask you to. I didn't do anything. Glad we straightened that. <laughs> I was just about to. Ah, uh, that's funny. I didn't even do the fucking shout, and he's like, "Don't do that anymore." Getting all mad at me. Hopefully, learning the shout is really easily. Uh, sure, Sky even Temple. Oh, no, that doesn't seem like it'll take too long. I hope it doesn't. I'm not gonna lure him in yet. Oh, whoops! I thought I had Whirlwind Spirit on. That's an awesome shout to make you go on the ground. That is just completely freaking sweet. Uh, okay. Why are we going up here? Is why is there the Book of the Dragonborn, Atlas of Dragons? Oh, that's, that's cool. Alright. Let's go up this way then. And what could be on the top of this mountain? I am a higher elf. Oh, yo. Hey, guys. To dream of it. I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. He's a dragon. Not just any dragon, but the right hand of Aldred, responsible for many atrocities during the ancient Dragon War. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards, and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned a traitor to Aldrin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself. Justice demands that he pay with his life. Haven't you been listening to me? All the old tales agree that he has some means to travel to Sovngarde himself. There, he devours the souls of the heroic dead to feed his power. You must find his portal to Sovngarde before he returns stronger than ever. Interesting problem, hmm, yes. I've been poring over the records here in Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Orkland. I think it's very likely that he will be unable 
to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, but it is written here in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. In the flash of light, just Alright. Uh. I have to kill him, really? I kinda wanna talk to him about that, just briefly. I don't wanna kill him now, though. Okay, you know maybe we'll do that next time. It's the first thing we're gonna fucking do. Is find out why I have to kill that motherfucker. And. With that being said. I'm depressed now that I have to kill my only friend. Nah! Hey guys, I know I left off like over there, whatever. You I'll explain shouldn't it in a be minute. here unless you decided to bring Parthenax to justice. Justice can be harsh. Yeah. Shout for Udavin from the Dragon's Reach culture. After that, it's up to you. Very good. All right, well let's go. Let's. I want to talk to him. I don't, I'm, okay. By the way, I'm not gonna kill him. I, I don't care. He's too fucking awesome. He's, he's a good dragon, but I'm gonna talk to him first, cause I, it it's a different quest, so it like there has to be another way out. Like I, I don't want to kill him. He's just too damn awesome. Look at this. Uh, you get he can he's I can have a conversation with a fucking dragon. Drem your lock. Greetings. Odavin will come to your challenge. Bozik, Krilot. He will not be able to resist your call. From the hill of the Dover itself, he will come. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dover. Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zim Griforwut se Suliech. What is better? To be born good, or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Well, Look. you've convinced me. I'm not gonna fucking kill you. So, I'm gonna go back there, and I'm gonna go tell them to uh, cram it up their ass. Anyways, no, the whole reason I just uh, did like a weird cut there was because I actually thought that was the ending point, but I actually oh. had forgotten that I, I had to redo the... the um, um, one of the battles, and I wasn't talking through it because I was intending to fast forward it. So, um, yeah, it it didn't go really that way. So I I I just adding in this on now. You'll have to speak up. Justice can. Okay, can I tell him to fuck truly, off? Whether or not he has truly repented. Nope. Okay. Merely act of saving. I'm not gonna kill him. I don't care. I'm just gonna leave that quest unfinished. Is anyone else here? I have no Ooh, whoops. I don't want to steal. Oh, while well, they're looking. Everything is stealing. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end. But that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion, the ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. 
The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. When I was young, our leaders became obsessed with the Thalmor threat. They believed that if and when we found a Dragonborn, we would need to protect him against the Thalmor. Turns out we fatally underestimated the Thalmor. They smashed us with ease during the Great War. I was one of the few who escaped. For a long time, all I cared about was staying alive and taking revenge on the Thalmor when I could. But then the dragons returned, and I remembered that the blades used to be dragon slayers, and that we were sworn to protect the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer of all. If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Really? 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 Yes? What Whatever. I'm not fucking killing him. Whoa! He will forever remain alive. I choose not to kill him. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think I have any more dialogue trees to really go into. Um, so next time we will... Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll set off the trap that they're intending to do over here. Okay, see you later.